So Superman 4. Now one thing I noticed was the fact that it was very short. It's an hour and 30 minutes roughly. And I thought, okay, this is going to be easy breeze watch. And I was wrong because that should have been the first time of this movie not being that great because not a whole lot in this movie. In terms of, first of all, the budget, they reuse the same Superman flying thing over and over again. And I thought, what happened to this film? Did this movie not get funded? This is not good. This is 1987. This is Superman. This should be an established thing now back in the 80s, but apparently not. And so they just have the same flying thing again. It's like, God damn. Okay, second sign and then they bring back Lex Luthor third sign because he's been he's done for in the second film so they just bring him back for I don't know marketing purposes who knows but this film feels cheap and looks cheap and it's not funny at all I mean it, it is at first but it's like god damn man what the hell's wrong with this film this is nothing's really good about it I want to try to remember what happens but just like with Superman 3 I don't remember shit like so Lois laying his back she's in there they do the whole same Superman 2 thing where he reveals identity to her but then it's immediately just redone by doing the whole kiss thing in the theatric cut of Superman 2 and it's like like, oh, what was the point of that scene? That was a good scene, but just to like pedal back, guess what? It was just a joke. Ta-da, just have the ball to do it. It's like, no, just tell her. Okay, we're going back to this bullshit. Okay, redoing it and then backpedaling it again, just like they did with Superman 2. It's like, okay, whatever. And then unlike Superman 1 or 2, she is just kind of there. I mean, she is kind of there in both of the films and 3, but it's like, they don't do much with her. And it's clear too, because they just have her be there. Be there to save her every once in a while, talk to her every once in a while, do the whole like, hey, I'm Clark Kent and I'm not Superman tough. It's like, we've seen this before and done way better superman 2 so can you do something new but they don't and because of its runtime of being an hour and 30 minutes it's not gonna be enough time and so that's really it there's parts of other things i forgot but that's one big major thing that's like huge negative it's just why would we do that beat people for the sake of beating people it's just all right all right man whatever so lex luther is doing his time in like a rock thing and then his like nephew or whatever like family member lenny luther is played by john cryer and like i mentioned earlier in superman 3 video they like to bring back actors who's worked in the superman properties in some way or another and John Cry now is Lex Luthor and Supergirl. We are the He's fantastic in it. Frank Sinatra and like We Are The Champs, all that stuff, he's fantastic, right? So seeing him here being really young, listening to his headphones and working with his family member Lex Luthor, just kind of having his drum, being all weird, was hilarious, but also like, why are you in this film? Why are you in this film? You have no purpose whatsoever, but he's just here. Is he a genius? I mean, he's he's a Luthor, so I'm assuming he's a genius, but I've never heard of Lenny Luthor at all. Did they make up this character? Who knows? But he is simply there, just a low slang. Everyone's just kind of there, and Superman does things in this film. That's what I feel like and so he's there he's doing his thing listening to his music aiding his uncle or whatever his family member but by the end superman just gets them like car they're in their disguises however superman just comes in and swoops takes a car takes him in like a church boys group thing which threw me off i was like wait a boy okay he was guided in the wrong way he will be guided in the right way correct way it's like all right strange choice superman but okay whatever and then like, back to prison i like the whole whistle bit that they do with the other prisoners he whistles they don't like it and then when he comes back with superman he whistles back at him that was like probably the funniest part of the film just a retread character within himself because it's Lex Luthor it's a big name they're like you know what let's just use him but it doesn't work your boy nuclear man if you will not tell me I will hurt people I mean, this character is just fantastic. No pun intended, no meme whatsoever. It's just, man, all of the electric stuff, his build and everything, his flying, man, some good shit, yo. I'm not even kidding. You know what? He's like part of the best part with all the CG crap. One of the best parts, you know? What's his motive? I think he's created by nukes, by a nuclear explosion. I think Lex created by a nuclear explosion because why not? And he looks like a bodybuilder, which I guess is the whole point. He's just there to fight against Superman, at least in this movie. Unlike the other movies. Actually, I'll take that back. It was odd. But like, he has another, like, a threat that's on its level i like that but aside from that it's just like yeah this is you know writers or producers taking something out of their asses throwing it out on the wall be like please work but it doesn't work production for this movie i felt like was a disaster honestly it was just like you know what let's just throw shit because why not it's like oh all right man this isn't super, really superman but we'll do it whatever sure what is this power i forgot is it electric nuclear shit he has electric all over him kind of like Raiden does when he like just like travels and whatnot but it's like where's it coming from i don't know what his exact powers is just he's there okay he's like either the best or worst part about this film he sucks and the superman he gets involved with president and trying to like help people basically again retreads this movie feel like retreads and just like quickly duct tape and put together kind of film that warner brothers and whoever was in charge at the time be like let's just put these together why why not just do it it'll work we'll just put it out hour three minutes not two hours whatsoever it's like all right and we get this kind of bad movie where it's not good i'm assuming people don't like the movie if people like this movie i get it from like a comical sort of perspective you could definitely watch this film with friends and just laugh at it not a good time i 
after a while, you just figure out why. Kind of like me. It's just like, yeah, nuclear man. He's nuking the the earth. Yeah, and Superman needs to stop it. And then Superman does his shenanigans stuff, talking to people, giving people hope. But he doesn't want to sell it. He keeps it, I think. People want or people want him to sell, but he just keeps it. And that space sequence at the opening, the flying. I mean, you know, he's saving people, right? So clearly, Superman four, the quest piece or something like that, quest for peace. Is that a good movie? It's a bad movie. But if you watch it with your friends and just laugh at it, you probably have fun time. I don't think it's awful. There's only a few redeeming things about it. Nuclear Man, which you either love or hate, cause fucking ridiculous. And John Cryer, it's not an awful film, but it's bad. So that's it for me. This has been The Road So Far. Thank you.